David Bowie wrote his classic song Life on Mars as a revenge on Frank Sinatra. Let me elaborate. So in 1968, before David Bowie had major mainstream success, he was working as a lyricist for a publishing company writing English lyrics to foreign songs. Now, one day he was sent a song that had been a hit the year before in France, this song. So hearing that song, you might already know where this is going, but let me continue. So Bowie went on to write a lyric for this song called When a Fool Learns to Love. Here I'm talking about it here in this interview in 2002. And one of the things they gave me was this French song and they said do an English lyric to this. So I wrote this god awful lyric. Even a fool learns to love it was called. It's dreadful. God, it's so awful. Really embarrassingly bad. And uh, I, I sang the lyric to the actual record that they sent me from France. <laughs> so you hear the actual, there's a tape of me, you can hear, it's on, it's, I, I've seen it on the internet, I mean it's sort of, it's available. Um, you hear the French song in the background, you hear me singing my lyric over the top of it, it's very funny. They're funny men, don't let them down, oh my darlings and brothers and So I think we all know where this is going now. Bowie's lyric didn't get picked up by the publisher and instead they went with a different songwriter, a singer called Paul Anker. And his lyric called... And when Bowie heard Frank Sinatra's My Way on the radio, well, he had this reaction. I was really pissed off. I thought, oh, it should have been my song, you know? So I thought, okay, I'll write my own version. So it's uh, My Way on Mars. So David Bowie wrote Life on Mars as a revenge on the song My Way. And if you look at the chord progressions for the two songs, you can see how obvious this is. So here we have the sheet music for both My Way and Life on Mars and I've moved my way into the key of F to make it easier to compare with Life on Mars. And you can see straight away by looking at the first seven bars of both songs, they're harmonically identical. They have the exact same chords. They both use this classic descending line cliche as the basis of the verse, just starting on an F chord and descending by a semitone. It's a god awful small affair to the girl with the mousy hair. Then getting up to the G minor and descending again. I'll make it clear. And the daddy has told her to go. However, whereas My Way then develops into quite a traditional jazz era ballad, Life on Mars takes this line cliche and ventures off into an incredibly unique harmonic landscape with it. Whereas in the original My Way chord progression, it descends each bar, this time we ascend each bar. The top note of the chord goes up instead of the bottom note of the chord going down. She's lifted ten times and this idea continues up and up until we finally land down in a whole new key of B flat major for the classic chorus. Look at those cavemen go. It's the freakish. And that's where the similarities end, really. But it's amazing to see how David Bowie took that same idea that My Way begins with and developed it into a completely different song. So, if you've ever wondered on the back of Hunky Dory why it says inspired by Frankie, well, now you know who Frankie is. I think what's interesting to remember is that the David Bowie who heard Frank Sinatra singing My Way on the radio was a David Bowie who wasn't a megastar. He had released one album which had been a commercial failure, was trying to write music for other people and that wasn't going well either. And he was only a few months away from writing and releasing Space Oddity, which would be the song that began his journey to megastardom. And now he's an artist that is certainly comparable with Frank Sinatra himself. To think that if Paul Anker hadn't written my way, we probably wouldn't have Life on Mars. Tell me how he came to write this song. 
I was with a, a music publishing company, uh, and they were passing me songs, lots of them from the, uh, I was going to say from the Orient. Some of them sounded like they came from the Orient. Um, one of them was this French song that I thought was really very good, and I wrote some really terrible lyric. I think it was called, Even a Fool Learns to Love. Um, and I sent it back again, I thought, oh, that's the last day of that. Then I hear it on the radio. I thought, that's that chill, that must be my song. I don't know, these are different lyrics. And it was Sinatra singing my way. And I was... <laughs> But I wrote the lyrics, what happened? I phoned them up and said, oh yeah, your lyrics were rubbish. And I said, I know that, but they, the ones I did, that really made me angry for so long, about a year. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, eventually I wrote my, I thought, well, I can do it. I can write something as big as that, and I'll, I'll write one that sounds a bit like it. And so I did Life on Mars, which is my sort of, you know, revenge trip on uh, my way. Well, thank God you did. <laughs>